Hi everybody and welcome to our final Creative Corner this year of 2020. So we're going to try and do a celebration image together. Um, so what I'm going to be doing in this session is to build out an image um, and I'm going to show you how I do that as I go. So because this is live, um, anything can happen. But because it is, you get to drop your questions into the feed. So if you have any questions for me as I go, please drop them in and I'll happily answer them. Um, I, firstly, there are a couple of decisions I've already taken today, so I'll talk you through those. Um, I'm going to be taking a vertical shot and this will be my background. So it's slate, um, two pieces of slate, uh, and I picked these up in a garden center. So they're just, um, I think that they were pretty cheap because they have flaws in them. Um, but two slabs of slate are relatively inexpensive to use. Um, and they've been, they've been a staple backdrop for me for a lot of things. So they've got a lot of use out of them. Um, so I'm gonna be shooting on these. Um, this is my camera and I've set up so that you're going to be able to see live um, the actual feed of what I set up and hopefully you're going to be able to see what I bring on to set. So that was the choice. The colour choice was because I'm going to be shooting a bottle and the bottle has some red tones so I wanted the red and the greens to go in. So a muted green will always go well with, with that. So with, without further ado let's bring out our props, the things that we're going to be shooting today. So I have here um, in the corner, I have a few things that I've got set ready to go. So this is going to be our bottle. It's not quite champagne, but you know, it's for all our non-alcoholics out there. That'll, that'll be the bottle that we are shooting today. So uh, I'm just going to, I, there's, there's a little area in the slate that is a bit wonky. So I'm conscious that that might be um, a little bit tilted if I'm not careful. So I'm just trying to find the right place for that. Okay, there we go, I think. I may move these around as we go, but that's okay for now. Oh, my live view feed just dropped out. Let me just click the camera because you only get so many uh, minutes on live view. So I will try to keep the live view open so you can see what's in the camera. Um, and this will be um, the champagne glass that I will use today. I quite like it, it's very swirly. And I think that's what I'm gonna be using. So the things I'm concerned about are the height difference. So I'm going to just try and elevate this glass just a tiny bit before we move on. And I have some pieces of slate here um, just broken slate that will help hopefully um, just raise the glass a little bit. And because the edges are broken, it'll add in a nice little bit of extra texture here. So let's add that in. Perhaps, perhaps the other way. Okay. So that's quite nice and hopefully that will just elevate this just slightly. There we go. So before it was here, so it comes up to like the elbow of the bottle. And that way that just brings it up a little bit higher and also giving a little bit more distance between the bottle and the glass. So that's great. So other things I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to have something else in the background. And because this is um, green, I'm probably going to bring some greenery in. But before I do that, I am, I'm going to also check out the apples because this is um, an apple brand um, and it's got apples on the labels. I'm going to bring in some red apples into the set and see I have some little apples rather than the really big ones and I've chosen them specifically for the colour um, to match our label. So I'm going to see about placements. 
whether or not. Perhaps the red can stay actually in the middle and we have like perhaps the off reds here. So that might work because that's tilted in a little bit. Um, I would want to elevate this up as well, but we'll, for now, we'll just see how many, what other apples are having. And how are we going to, if we're going to leave that bottle like that, which I suspect we might do. Are we going to, oh, that, that sits really nicely like that. That might work because it's just looking at that apple there. And then this one, see, I think perhaps it may need a little bit of elevation out the back. The other thing I think I'm going to end up doing is cutting the apple. Um, especially for the front, I may have an apple cut um, and just resting here. So I'm going to save one for that. And I'm going to see. How that one, how that one might work, perhaps like if we have a couple back here. I will just need something to make them stand up. So before I do that, I have a piece of wood and I'm wondering if that will help because the wood is shaped almost like an apple basket really, or can be used as one if it will, if we can get it. So we might be able to, oh, live view, just conked out on us there. Uh, that might be too big, actually, let's just, or, So the reason why I'm looking this direction is because I have my second screen off camera today um, so that it doesn't interfere with your view of my set. So I've got a screen off camera. That's why I'm looking, looking sideways here. So I'm just trying to work out um, placements of things at the moment and working out where they're going. I think that this is way too big for our set. So I will take that out, perhaps leave that one in. I think I have some pieces of wood that perhaps may help us. Um, if just to help add the apples in, in a way that props them up. Because um, obviously I want them to be hidden. The, anything that props them up needs to be um, hidden behind everything else. So I'm just picking up a few bits of wood that I have and also another piece of slate um, that's just a bit, a bit broken but may help just push things up. So I have this piece of slate here um, and also this piece of wood. So I'm going to see if either one will help. So if I just put that there See, it's off camera, you can't really see it, but if I put an apple there or there, it kind of, it just elevates it a little bit. It probably needs just a tiny bit more actually. So um, what else might I be able to use behind there? I have some actual coffee slates.
so that might because that's got a hole in it's going to distract so let's see if I can just ah that's better okay so this is getting closer to it now so I will need some little blocks so that it doesn't fall down so I have I've made these little um, clay, air dry clay blocks, um, and they are literally um, handmade um, dry blocks. And I've, I use them pretty much for this purpose specifically, um, for propping things up in tiny spaces um, just to stop them falling down um, in a way. There we go. Let's see if that, that's. you see that's falling too far so let me my backup plan is always a little bit of blue tack um, blue tack I use quite often for props and for propping things up in um, it's relatively inexpensive to to use essentially it's you can get it anywhere as well um, but if you don't want blue and you want clear there is such a thing called museum wax um, and that does exactly the same job as blue tack but it's clear so if you ever need to have it on set and you don't want a blue tint to things um, that's your that's the tool to use just Having, yes, there we go. Okay, so that's looking much better there. So I'm happy with those. Um, I'm wondering if we definitely will have something like along the lines here. I'm wondering if we will have that or we will have it cut. We'll certainly have it cut up because it's way too big. So we will probably cut that one there. And I'm happy to wait to do that because cutting apple will require a bit of lemon and a bit of fiddling with it so I'm happy with that yeah I think we're probably going to have a couple of apple slices here and here so let me just take a look at the focus so that you can see where I'm going to be and that was good because it was just about to um, come out of live view I'm going to be focused on the front glass here Got it at 2.8 at the moment. I don't know that I'll keep it at 2.8 for the final image, but it's um, because there's not a lot of light uh, currently in the in the room. Um, it just helps show you what we're doing. So if I give a little bit more there, so that's like clear at the background that we've got the bottle and the apples, and then a little separation here between. Um, the glass, oh, let me just, I'm just looking at the edge there, great, so a little bit there, okay, good. So the next thing I'm going to look at is perhaps to fill this little gap here. I don't know if perhaps we want a little bit of green, whether or not we want to match the leaf. I do have some leaves, um, but I have a little bit of green. So let me just put all of the apples um, back in the tray and I will come to cutting those up in a minute. So again, if you do have any questions, please just drop them in the comments box. Um, and I'll happily go through with, with you what I'm thinking and what the process is that we're doing here. Uh, so I'm going to cut off some green. Um, and this green is pretty much dropping all over the place. So I, I don't want to, I don't want this all over the set, but if it works, I'm going to yeah, I think it does work. Like perhaps just there is really quite nice. I might have a little bit more. Um, perhaps in because it's 
There we go, and I might just build up a little bit more. What I'm looking at there is like the, the balance down from the heights. So I know that I'm building this height up here, but I'm trying not to build it past the apple. Oh, hello, Tony. I hope you are well. I hope that you're having a good New Year's Eve. So I'm just building that image up. Again, some of these uh, sets are, are reused from certainly the plants. They're, they're not their freshest the little branches, but that's okay. I can, we can work with that. Especially just by propping them up in the background, that's fine. So that's quite nice. I'm quite liking that. It's kind of got a nice festive spirit to it. Um, I probably would like a little bit more just there. Can you see where it's like dush, dush, dush? And I'm not sure whether this needs a little leaf back here as well. So Okay, as these, these things are always live, we are having some technical issues, issues with, our, with, the, with the cameras that um, you're seeing, but we're, we're working on it, don't worry. It's just getting these broadcasts are quite new to us, so we're still working out what's the best way to do them and how they'll work. And if you've... Uh, if you've joined us before, you'll know that we, uh, we there are times where we're still very new and working on sound or things like that. So if you spot things, please let us know in the comments and we'll happily, happily work through them. So. Okay, so um, today, um, I am shooting with um, the, the, the camera that you can see that's live view. This is the camera that I'm shooting. Um, and I have an external monitor off, off camera. Well, you can't see it, I'm sorry, um, but it's, it's out of your view. But I, it's, um, it's a really big screen because last time I was shooting with my external monitor, which is a, uh, which is a smaller one, um, and I was finding it a bit difficult to see um, whilst with the other cameras and not blocking your view. So today we've, we're shooting with an external screen. Um, it's, not shoot, it's not tethered, it's just uh, an external monitor just to see um, as I'm building up, which is why I'm looking off camera. Um, so what you're seeing right now in the live view is, is just literally the, the camera perspective. So where are we? We are... I think I may want a little bit of a leaf here and I have an envelope of leaves because, you know, that's what you do. And I will just keep the... all of the pines that have just fallen. I'll just try and brush them so that I'm not walking everywhere in them. And I suspect that when I pick out a leaf, if, let's see if we can get a, a small one. How lovely are these? So I've literally, these are dried leaves that I've put into an envelope to make sure that they can go um, flat. And I think that one, I like these ones because of the, the beautiful red colors in them, they're, they're pretty much the same lovely tones as this. So 
Let me just see. Is that one going to be too big for that leaf? Can we can we fit it in this way, or is it way too big? I think even for this, it may be it may be too big. So I think that's the smallest leaf I have in that envelope. Let me just check. I think this might be, it might be the, certainly that one's going to be huge going in, but I'm not sure I mind. I think that might work. In fact, it does work. So we're going to leave that there. That works nicely. And perhaps, I don't think this one needs something because that's going to be distracting to the, the bottle. So I'm good with that. And yeah, I may, I may come back to the leaves, but so far that's all I needed from that one, just to add a little bit of life to that apple. Now the apple actually has a few little um, green pines sitting on it, um, which I will take care of when we finish because I will dab the apple with dew. So some of the, the crumbs and stuff, I don't mind around it. I'm happy that they're there. It adds a little bit of extra life. I'm just brushing the part that we don't see on camera. Okay, so I'm not, like I think we're in a really nice place right now. I am going to try um, perhaps adding um, the apple and that I'm going to cut in half that's going to go with a lemon. And I'm also going to see if we have any, um, so I have lemon and I'm going to get that prepared, um, some star anise um, for the shape because if I cut the apple um, in half, you get a lovely um, shape in the center. I have, mm, I've got two broken ones. Mm, let's see if two broken ones can make, can make a heart, whole one. Um, of course, Christmas time, it, you can add cinnamon in here and that wouldn't be out of place either. Oh, live view just went for you. Let me just bring you back. Okay, so it's just to add a little bit of interest here, perhaps, uh, in, in this place. Mm. And that might be quite cute. And just like it's tumbled down into place, like it's tumbling in. So we've got this shape going on that's like an, a curved S, which I really enjoy. So that's pretty. Okay, so I'm going to now try cutting the apple. Uh, let me just firstly squeeze some lemon into a little bowl so that I can then straight away dip the apple into the lemon and that way hopefully it will stop it from um, going brown it's not a it's not a sure thing but it does present prevent it from from too much so if you've got any questions please feel free to just drop them in the comments um, this image isn't one that I've had in my head for very long um, I literally bought the props the bottle of apple um, uh, sparkly apple this week and I thought it might make a nice um, celebration um, image so th that's from there just building up in my head what it would look like or what it would be 
has been just a case of putting a few things together that um, I thought might go together um, and just putting them to one side. So as uh, if you can see down here, I actually have some pomegranate and I think that is going to be a lovely finishing touch um, because of the jewels that brings something extra special to to the image. So I'm just painting the apple with, with lemon juice. And let's see if it fits here. So it's very bright it, as this is very bright and then this is very bright. So I'm not sure that I'm going to enjoy that as much as I thought I would, but let's see whether or not it might work better. If it's just propped by the bottle. Now the thing is, is there you can't really see the, there we go. So there is that possibility. Or perhaps, because what I don't want to do is I don't want to take away from the heroes of the shot. And the hero is going to be the bottle and the liquid that goes inside this. And those are the two things that I want our attention to go to. So if I put something like this, this is very bright uh, in the image in contrast with the, with the bottle. Oh, let me just put that back. I don't want it to draw attention away from, from those other things going on. So yeah, I think I think I'm going to leave them out for now because as I say, I don't want to draw attention away from what's there. But what I will do, I am going to trial um, the pomegranate because I think the pomegranate reds will look very cute in perhaps here and also here where there isn't anything right now. So that could work. Um, I'm also conscious that there isn't very much green there. So if I could pop something else there, I will. Um, and it's, is that, oh, live view. Let's just pop that back in. And I am wondering whether or not at this point we're going to sprinkle in something like that. Yes, that's what we're going to do. Cause they are, they're quite celebrationary, aren't they? These little white dots here. That's quite nice. And I might do just a little bit at the back as well. Um, and again, I already had some of these cut from a previous shoot, so I'm going to reuse those, which I tend to do when I can. So let's just pop this beautiful oh it just knocked that leaf that's all right we're going to pop you back we'll put you back leaf okay so that's quite pretty and it draws attention back in there so i'm liking that i might even cheekily put a little pop of that just here where you've got the shadows of the apple right now. And we're just gonna pop that in there. And even, let's just Yeah, that's quite nice. Perhaps just push that a little bit further away back there. Okay, so then that adds 
the interest of the eye because you want to draw the eye from the back to the, the foreground and back again. And I know that this glass is going to be full of liquid. So we're going to put um, the a, a liquid, perhaps. What I, I'm going to do a couple of things. I'll probably take a photograph um, with the bottle closed and fill this up with another liquid that's of the similar color. And then what I will do is open the bottle and probably do a pouring shot. Um, so that, there's two ways of doing that. And once you've taken the bottle out, that'll give me space this side to do a pouring shot. And again, there's nothing at the top distracting that pour. So you'll see the big bottle here and it will make a nice image as well. So that's the, hot, the reason of leaving a little bit up here and obviously this side for the bottle. So you've got then two options. You're taking one shot for the bottle in this setup, but you're also conscious that you're going to want to do a pour shot once you've got that image. I'm probably not going to do the pour shot live with you, um, but I will certainly post up finished, um, finished images later. So, pomegranate time. Now, I know that there is a way of um, <laughs> opening pomegranate, um, but every time I've tried to do it, it's a bit of a disaster. So I'm going to get myself some tissue. Okay, so tissue, I have some tissue ready. Okay, so tissue to the ready and pomegranate to open. Now I will need another little knife to open it and to see if I can. I don't want to really cut into it and leave the um, knife marks though. So I'm going to cut into it as far as um, it will allow me just to pull it open and to actually um, rip it. Let's see, there's already lots of juice coming out of this one. So Okay, great. So we're just cutting through this pomegranate. Ah. Okay, and as I say, I think that this is, there's a, a much better way of cutting through these that doesn't split juice everywhere. And I'm trying to do it, oh, live view just went off. Thank you very much. Um, so pomegranate juice probably not the best to be cutting whilst you've got white clothing. Um, also, um, I don't mind if this goes on the set a little bit today because it's already got a little bit of reds and stuff in. So I'm good with that. And I'm only wanting just, oh, can you see that? I don't know if you can. I love the jewels of pomegranate. Look at that. Oh, they are delicious. They literally look like diamonds or rubies in a encased in their in their places. Just beautiful. Um, and to me quite luxurious. Okay, so we are going to put some of these on set and I'm gonna place them. You probably can't see them there, but perhaps a few down here where you can. Great. And certainly down here. I'm not going to, I'm going to take them away from, if they're distracting from the bottle, I'm going to move them. So perhaps not just to one side. And perhaps we just have them like literally like they've tumbled, tumbled down, which I quite like the idea of them tumbling, tumbling through our set. Oh, 
I, I, I don't know what it is about pomegranates. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's this something super, super luxurious. So we're just gonna, I don't mind if they're, like, I don't want them to see like that seem like they're really placed placed. So we're gonna just have three at the front there, right. See, it's just tiny little little details. So what I've gone for there is the bigger things at the back. So you have your apples and all of the big props at the back and then working forwards the smaller because that's a matter of perspective. Anything that's going to be this side of the camera is obviously closer to the camera and going to look bigger to the camera. So all of these are still going to, although they're relatively small items, they're going to look really big in your frame when they're closer to the camera. And also, we want to fill in the gaps. Once we knew where these two items were placed, where the glass and where the bottle was placed, you, you then want a little bit of distance, but then fill in the gaps with things that make sense to the image. And in this case, it was the apples, so that you had the apples on the bottle, and the color had to match. And then the greenery, because we already have a little green leaf here, we've already got a hint of leaf, so we could add the leaf onto the apple. Um, and then you add in where your eye is gonna travel around the frame. So that way you can add in some of the white specks, just to have your eye follow the white um, through the image. And that's why I chose those. Hmm. So I hope you like the image so far. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to actually add in a little bit of liquid um, into the glass. Um, and I do have some liquid um, just off camera. I'll just bring it in. And this probably isn't going to fill up the entire um, glass, but I'm going to see how far it will get me to start with. I'm just waiting for Live view is going to switch off in just a second. So let me just let me just check comments. If you've got any questions, again, please just drop them in the comments. I'm happy to go through them. Um, at this point in time, the only lighting I have is um, from a softbox from uh, the side. So you, this is what you're seeing in the camera, um, and. That, I like building up with continuous light because it allows me to give um, myself a, a vision of what it's going to look like when I'm building it up. So there we go, light view is off. I'm just gonna oh, turn off sound. Okay. Oh, well, that's actually really comforting to know. If I, if I see things the same way you do, that's really great. It's nice to have people along who are similar minded. Right. So this is what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to take the glass out and I'm going to fill it with this liquid and I'm going to put that in there. Now, that's one of the ways of making the bubbles appear on the top. Now, this is bubbly, so the minute you can't really get away from that, you will need a pour shot or you will need um, perhaps sparkling water would help here. Um, but one of the ways, if it is just liquid, um, pouring it in will get the bubbles on, on the top for you and that's one way. Um, I am thinking that what's probably going to be nice is to add in a few pomegranates into the glass just so there's something in the bottom of the glass there um, because the background um, you kind of you want it to a little bit a little bit pop out. So I had all my pomegranates over here so I'm going to 
just pull off a couple um, and see if they will with time sink. Oh, there we go. There we go. See, I don't think you need many, perhaps two or three in the bottom there. Great. And the other thing I may want to do if I was going to add an extra flourish would be a little, perhaps, let me see if I can break off another little piece of the um, tree. Oh. See, I have, I have these things that we haven't used yet, but, oh, let me just make sure that's not going to fall off on the set. Okay, so we could probably add in some little flourish, although I'm reluctant to add that one in because we haven't put the purple in, in the back. Or we could add in more of the green, and I'm just trying to find a piece. Here we go. Let me just, there we go. So, a tiny piece of green that could just sit on the glass like this. And that might be nice. And I would perhaps cut that part off in post. Uh, if I cut it off now, um, the rest of the, the branch would fall apart. So that's pretty much where I would take this image. I think my last pieces would be perhaps to add a little bit of water and to perhaps spray or fritz the bottle um, because obviously you want it to look like it's cold and it's just come out of the freezer. So the, possibly what I would do is to spray the bottle and um, I would do that um, with, with this. And I, I won't do it on set and I won't do it right now, but um, what this is is a mixture of glycerine and water so it's one part glycerine to two parts water um, and what that does is it produces when you spray um, onto the bottle it will produce little droplets but they will stick and they will stay there um, whereas if you just spray with water obviously water evaporates and disappears pretty quickly whereas this won't which is why I don't really want to spray it anywhere near the set um, but I wouldn't use this on the apples for the apples um, there is enough lemon juice left that I would probably just take my paintbrush like this and just drop Let me just put that back onto my view for you. And I would just drop a few tiny little jewels into um, the area where it's going to catch the light. So in front of the camera here, just there. And even on the back here, I would probably just, just a few dabs. Um, and I know that you can't see it because it's, um, we're at such a shallow depth of field on the front, but if I do want to get a, a longer depth, um, a bigger depth of field, it will catch those droplets um, and it will bring them into life. And also, if these ever sit on set too long, they can just be revived by a dab of lemon juice as well. Um, again, you just want to make sure that these are shiny. They should be shiny and that's, you know, that's what makes them jewels, is the fact that they shine. Okay, so that's our image for today, or for the end of this year, actually. So I will post up on our McGunn Media Instagram the final image when I've taken it and processed it. Um, I hope that you guys had uh, fun um, seeing how this was built up, and I wish you all the best new year and let's all hope that 2021 brings much better things for you. So thank you very much for being here and we'll see you all very soon.